Hi there, welcome back to Not Another Budget, I'm Nicole and on this channel I'm attempting to cash budget my way out of debt and fix several years of financial misbehaviour so if that's something you're interested in following along with please don't forget to stick around and check out the other content I've created for you on this channel. Now I'm back with a very long awaited um, debt update with regards to filling in my debt trackers which I did not do at all in December or January and then equally um, what did I pay overall to debt, both with my money and then also the money I received from a single gal budget who picked me to be her pass it forward? Um, and how much did I pay total, like in January and then December, respectively? Because there was lots of things going on. So let's have a look at these numbers that you can see here. Now, month four for me was December, and there was a lot going on in December. And Despite that, despite the upheaval in terms of my budget categories and the cat's health and everything going on in my personal life, I was still able to pay £409.70 to debt. So fantastic because I didn't bring in really any extra income at all. I think I sold like the odd little bit on Vinted that I hadn't listed anything new. It just found a buyer. Um, the thing finally found a home. So that in itself is brilliant but then the big one in January was the grand total I paid was £1,911.12 which is the largest amount I have ever paid in one month to debt at all um, and that's fantastic really really fantastic and between the two I'm just doing the maths now because I've not done that already um, so between the two across December and January I paid £2,320.82 off my debts and there were some really 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 big ones in there the biggest one was my council tax which was a debt that I found out about in the end of November so there was a lot going on then as well and I was immediately able to clear that within two months I had to divert funds away from what I'd planned to do which was um, do car insurance annually and other things like that and actually just went no this is a this is an absolute priority debt so get that cleared off and paid that was £749.50 just in December just in January um, I paid a double payment to my guarantor so that was £600 and that's going to try and keep that's keeping that on track so that I can um, get that debt reduced down by half um, by about August, which is my goal there. And then I have my normal minimums come out. And then thanks to and it is very much thanks to a single gal budget, I was able to go ahead and clear four of my smaller, very frustrating um, debts. So I cleared CARS, which was a £20 debt, um, Admiral with £176.05, Autonet £160.72 and Resolve Call £149.85. And that is fantastic because I have had to slow down my debt snowball slightly in February and that's because there's a lot going on. I, I owe my vets money because the insurance isn't going to pay out for all of his treatment. So that is a kind of debt which has jumped again to the front um it being larger than my remaining existing snowball so all of that needs to be recalculated but it basically means and I know that like this is a silly way of doing an average but it basically means I paid the equivalent of a thousand and one hundred and sixty pounds and forty one pence each month in reality I didn't but it was weighted really really heavily um in January and a large part of that in terms of the, my own money that I could put to it was because I decided to take the student loan payment I got which was extra um, on my income and just shoved as much of it as I could to debt as possible and even though I'd and it's kind of carried forward as well into February because I had to re-empty the savings binder that I had stuffed with that money as well and that is also going on um, debt this month so it's definitely doing the mostest <laughs> I would say <laughs> Um, but it is now time to update the debt trackers, the debt repayment trackers. Now, I am the debt repayment trackers do not include the council tax because these were set up um, prior to me finding out about this, and the fifty-two pound calculation was made. So, the two thousand and eighty-four pounds is all of my smaller annoying debts that I've either got debt minimum set up or I've cleared like the CARS so the council tax isn't going to be included in this 
And £52 is basically the uh, closest round number, rounding down, that I could get to for each of the bubbles in here. So in terms of the numbers that I am paying off, let me just very quickly go through and add this up because I have got to do it for two months, not one, um, which I have to remind myself because I know what I'll do. I'll get chatting and then I will forget. And that's because you guys are wonderful to virtually chat to. Um, I've got two lots of £4.70. And I have also got 80, which is two lots of 40. And I have got 30. So 600 and so off my kind of smaller miscellaneous debts, I was able to pay £626 and two pence off. If I divide that by 52, okay, I've got 12 baubles that I need to colour in. So let's go through and do this. And I will count them because I will forget if I don't and lose track. So I've got one. Oh, I know what I've done. 11. Okay, I need to stop there uh, because I know what I've done. The, t the 80 pounds needs to go into here. So uh, let me stop there. Let me just, okay, let me stop there because I can't undo that. <laughs> because the 40 pounds is coming off another one. So that's half and let's go half here as well. Okay. So I just need to make a note. Okay. Okay. That is done. Right. Basically, the next time I come to do this, um, I have basically coloured in one bubble or too many. It should have been 10, not 12. Um, but that is now on there. This is this is why I need to double check these things. Um, but that is those two done. Now we come to this one, which is a little bit easier math. <laughs> um, because each one of these is 100 and I paid, this is for my guarantor, I paid 900 total off my guarantor. Again, the uh, council tax not included in this one. So I'm going to count. Sorry about the squeak, by the way. I know that's going to upset a few people. One. Two, three, Okay, so our little cluster of balloons is slowly filling up with colour there as I make my way through the guarantor debt, which is the largest amount. And that is why it gets so much of my money each month. Um, the standard minimum payment is 100. Each month I try and push to pay 300. And that is very much tracking to from September to July, maybe August, depending on payment dates. I would have cleared that down by half in less than a year. And that's why I want the. Um, I want that less than a year. Um, has it taken an overpayment in J January? Will it take an overpayment in April? Yes, it will. Um, to do that, that's fine. <laughs> I don't mind doing that at all. Um, I think at some point, because I'm running out of space on here, I and as and when I kind of update and review my snowball, which is something that I do kind of every couple of months, and I'm due to do one as well at the end of this month. 
Um, I think I might need to kind of redo the annual debt tracker spread, add in some more sheets, change the layout. That's the beauty of a ring bound thing that I've created myself. Um, but that's all something I can look at and then just fill you guys in on later on. So that is a very long overdue job, which has just been sat on my to do list. And today is a day where I am ticking off things on my to do list. So I have just previously recorded my um small change savings challenge uh sunday video which uh i just filled you guys in on a, a bit more of kind of the the things that are going on and definitely taking and having an impact in my time and how i organize myself um you'll have seen that already and if i have been organized this will have come out on the monday so yeah over two thousand pounds paid off to debt in two months um I didn't know that that was the number. I knew it was going to be like over a thousand because I knew by virtue of the fact that I've paid X amount in um, and I'd received X amount to put into it as well. Um, that feels amazing. And in a weird way, it makes me feel a little bit better about the fact that I've had to scale back my snowball this month because I've had to redivert to pay another pop up, um, which is the the vet's fees for him. Um, and they're being quite good as well. Um, I was like, I'm paying cash. I did, I know I was saying I was umming and ahhing. I was like, I've got cash. You either take the cash or you wait. <laughs> you wait for me to get to a bank to pay the cash back in, which isn't going to happen to a Saturday. I'm going to struggle to find a free Saturday to specifically make a journey in, to go to this specific bank, to queue up, to use it with everyone else. You either pay cash, take cash now, or you wait until half term at the end of the month. So surprisingly, they took cash. Um, the power of cash sometimes means that actually you can just resolve a thing far quicker. But that is it for this video i will see you again hopefully in a couple of days for another midweek video although i just need to review my to-do list and let you know what that is um and i will get back to you all very very soon thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i know it's really annoying when we ask you to do this as youtubers but um it's free and it takes very very little from you and you can always unsubscribe if you really really don't like me i don't mind but certainly it helps the algorithm recommend my videos and get me out there and do you know what i would really love to get to 2000 subscribers by the december of this year so that's going to require more regular output from me um and higher quality content which is something i will strive to and i will add to my to-do list it's fine um but i don't mind doing that in return please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you have a fantastic budgeting week wherever you are in the world. I've not told you that for a while. So I genuinely hope you do. Keep plodding on. We're, we're past January. We're into February. It's a shorter month. We'll be fine, guys. We'll survive. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you now. Bye-bye for now.